Good day, guys. Today, I'm going to continue my discussion on volumes of solids of revolution by integration. But this time, I'll be using circular ring or washer method. Volumes of solids of revolution using circular ring or washer method. This method is used when the plane region to be revolved about the axis of revolution has a gap with the axis of revolution. The volume element is perpendicular to the axis of revolution. Let us consider this plane region to be revolved about this axis of revolution. This region is bounded from the left side by x equals g of y, on the right side by x equals f of y, above by y equals b, and below by y equals a. If this is the type of region to be revolved about this axis of revolution, the appropriate element is horizontal. Notice that this plane region to be revolved about this AOR has a gap with this AOR. If this is revolved about this line, or about this axis of revolution. So this is the solid of revolution that is formed. Once this area is revolved, this area element will also revolve and will form circular ring or washer. So let us consider this volume element that is formed, which is circular ring or washer. This has dimensions radius sub i, which is the inner radius of this inner disk, while mm, the radius of the outer disk is given by r sub o. And the thickness of this washer is dt. The volume of the circular washer is given by dv, which is equal to the volume of the outside disk minus the volume of the inner disk. For the volume of the outer disk, we have pi times the square of the outer radius that is from this point to this point times dt minus for the volume of this inner disk, we have pi times the square of this inner radius multiplied by dt. So hence, the differential of b is given by pi multiplied by the square of the outer radius minus the square of the inner radius multiplied to the thickness dt. For the volume of solids of revolution, we have b, which is equal to pi, integral from a to b of the square of outer radius minus the square of the inner radius multiplied by dt. So this is the volume of this solid of revolution. So in this formula for volume of solid of revolution using circular ring or washer, we have A and B limits of plane region to be revolved. R sub I, the inner radius of the washer, R sub zero, zero or R sub O is equal to the outer radius of the washer and DT, the thickness of the washer. Let us have the following examples. Find the volume of the solid generated when the plane region bounded by the given curves is revolved about the indicated axis. Number one, y equals x squared plus one and the x axis from x equals negative one to x equals two. The axis of revolution, letter A, y equals negative one, letter B, y equals five. Solution. First, let us sketch the region to be revolved. 
So starting with the points of intersection of the parabola y equals x squared plus one with the x-axis, the x-axis is y equals zero. If y equals zero, we have zero equals x squared plus one, x squared equals negative one. This means that it has no real solutions. If x equals negative one, we have y equals negative one quantity squared plus one, so getting y equals two. Hence, we have the point negative one, two as the point of intersection of this parabola with x equals negative one. If x equals two, we have y equals two squared plus one, and that is equal to five. Therefore, we get two, five as our point of intersection of this vertical line x equals two and the line and the parabola y equals x squared plus one. So for y equals x squared plus one, this is a parabola. It's reducing to a standard form. We have x squared equals y minus one, giving vertex zero one. And this type of parabola opens upward. So for axis of revolution, y equals negative one. So let's now have the plane region to be revolved, plotting the points. We have negative one, two. Then we have two, five. Vertex zero, one of the parabola. So we have, have this parabola passing through these three points, okay? And then below by the X axis, which is given by Y equals zero and this vertical line x equals negative one. And on the right side, we have the line x equals two. So this is the region that is to be revolved about the line y equals negative one, okay? Now, in this region, the appropriate element mm, here is vertical element for this type of region that we have. Since this has a gap, this region has a gap with this axis of revolution and the element is perpendicular, hence we're going to have circular ring or washer. So for the solid of revolution formed revolving about this horizontal line y equals negative one. So we generate the solid. And then the perpendicular element to this axis of revolution, when revolved, we have this circular ring. Using circular ring method, we have differential of V where V is the volume of the solid generated and that is equal to pi multiplied by the square of the outer radius minus the square of the inner radius multiplied to dt. The outer radius is given by um, y higher. So y higher for the outer radius is x squared plus one, this blue one. And then y lower is the axis of revolution that is negative one, hence we have x squared plus one minus negative one, simplifying, we get x squared plus two. DT here, which is the thickness of this circular ring is dx because this is vertical. And the inner radius is equal to y higher, y higher happens to be the x axis. So that is zero minus y lower, so this is the inner radius, y lower happens to be negative one. So zero minus negative one, that is equal to one. So it means the inner radius is fixed. Hence the volume is equal to pi integral from A to B of 
outer radius squared minus inner radius squared multiplied by dt. And this is equal to pi integral from negative one to two. Negative one is the um, leftmost value of the region that is to be revolved, leftmost value of x, and two is the rightmost value of x of this region that is to be revolved. So again, we have pi integral from negative one to two of radius out there. So that is x squared plus two quantity squared minus in radius. That is one quantity squared getting x squared plus two quantity squared minus one squared quantity dx. Simplifying, we have pi integral from negative one to two of x, x to the fourth plus four x squared plus four minus one here, so plus three, one tt dx. Integrating, we get here pi multiplied by x to the fifth over five, simple power, four times x cubed over three, again, simple power, then integral of three dx, that is three x, evaluated from negative one to two. So getting pi, applying the upper limits, so this gives us 32 over five plus four times eight, that is 32 over three plus three times two, so that is six minus the value when X is negative one of this expression. So we have negative one fifth, four times negative one third, so that is negative four thirds, then minus three. So simplifying this first three terms, we have 346 over 15 minus this expression inside this parenthesis, negative 68 over 15. So let's check. So 32 over five plus 32 over three plus six. So that is 346 over 15. And then we have negative one fifth minus four thirds minus three is that that is negative 68 over 15. So getting 138 pi over five cubic units. So this is the volume of this solid of revolution generated, okay? So let us have letter B. This time axis of revolution is equal to five. And the region that is to be revolved about this horizontal line is the same region as what we had before. Okay, so when this is revolved about the line y equals five, so this is the solid of revolution generated. Okay, now since this region is to be revolved about this, and for this type of region, uh, the appropriate element is vertical, once revolved, it will generate circular ring or washer, okay? So since there is a gap between this region and the axis of revolution. And of course, this element is perpendicular to the axis of revolution. Using circular ring method, we have dv is equal to pi multiplied by outer radius squared minus inner radius squared times dt. So outer radius is given by, so for the outer radius, we have from the washer to the lowest part of this ring. So that is five minus zero. So that's the outer radius. Again, from the washer. So this is the way higher. So we get what? We get five as the outer radius, okay? And then for the inner radius, we have, so from this point, axis of revolution, which is five minus this point, which is on the parabola. So we have five minus x squared plus one. So again, y higher is five, minus y lower of the inner radius is on the parabola that is x squared plus one, getting four minus x squared. dt is equal to dx since this is vertical, okay? 
So volume is equal to pi integral from A to B, uh, outer squared, outer radius squared minus inner radius squared dt. So substitution gives us pi integral from negative one to two. So the plane region to be revolved runs from negative one to two. So, so these are the limits. Outer radius is five, so five squared. Inner radius is four minus x squared. Then since for r squared, we have four minus x squared quantity squared. Simplifying this integrand, we get 25 minus 16. So this is negative eight, negative positive eight, then x squared, positive x is to the fourth, then negative, so we have negative x to the fourth. Simplify further, we have 25 minus 16, that is nine, then plus eight x squared minus x to the fourth. So integrating, getting nine x here, plus eight x cubed over three, minus x to the fourth over five, multiplied by pi, um, evaluated from negative one to two. Pi times the value of this expression when x is positive two, getting nine times two, 18, eight times eight, 64 over three, then we have minus 32 over five. Minus the value of this when X is negative one. So we have negative one, nine plus negative eight over three, then negative, negative, so positive one over five. Simplifying these first three terms, we have 429 over 15 minus this, expression inside parentheses, we have negative 172 over 15. Combining, we get 222 over pi. 200, I mean, simplifying, we get 222 pi over five cubic units. So this is the volume of the solid generated. Okay, guys? Let us have number two. First quadrant area bounded by y, equal, by y squared equals 4x and y equals 2x minus 4. Axis of revolution, x equals 0 for letter A. For letter B, x equals 4. So let's sketch the region to be revolved, starting with the points of intersection. So if, you if we have y squared equals 4x, so this is our first equation. Second equation is y equals to x minus four. So let us solve this simultaneously. So substitute this two x minus four to y of this parabola. So getting two x minus four quantity squared equals four x. Expanding, we get four x squared minus two x times four times two, that is negative 16 x plus 16. And that is equal to four x. Simplifying, we get four x squared minus 20x plus 16 equal to zero. We can divide this by four, getting x squared minus five x plus four equal to zero. This is factorable into x minus four, x minus one, and then equal to zero. So the roots are x equals four and x equals one. When x is four, two times four, that is eight minus four. So we get y equals four. Hence, we have a point 4, 4 as their points of intersection. When x is 1, we have 2 times 1, that is 2 minus 4, negative 2 as the value of y. Hence, our point of intersection is 1, negative 2. So there are two points of intersection for this parabola and the line. But 1, negative 2 um, is not in the first quadrant. Remember, we want only the first quadrant area bounded by this parabola and the line. One negative two is in the fourth, so we are going to re remove this, okay? So we don't consider this point. What about intersection of the parabola with the x-axis? So that is with y equals zero. So we have zero squared equals four x. So x therefore is zero, we have zero, zero as their point of intersection. What about the x-axis and the line? Y equals two x minus four. So we have zero equals two x minus four. So two x equals four, hence x is equal to two. 
the, the point of intersection of the line and the x-axis is to zero. Let us consider the parabola. This has a vertex at zero, zero, and it opens to the right. So this type of parabola opens to the right. We're going to start with the axis of revolution, x equals zero. Plane region to be revolved. We have, first let's begin plotting the points, four, four. Then we have zero, zero. Then two, zero. The parabola passes through this vertex, which is zero, zero and four, four opens to the right. And then for the line, it contains two, zero and four, four. Okay, so that's the line x equals one half y plus two. Okay, or that is y equals two x minus four. While the parabola in terms of y, that is x equals y squared over four. Okay, and then the x axis because it is in the first quadrant. So this is the region that is to be revolved, okay? Bounded by the parabola, this x axis for the y axis. So we have just a point here and then this line. So we have this region. The appropriate element, if this is the region to be revolved is horizontal. The axis of revolution is the y-axis, that is x equals zero. Notice that this element has a gap with this axis of revolution, perpendicular. So expect that the volume element that will be formed, circular ring or washer, okay? The solid of revolution form is when revolved about this y-axis, so this is the solid of revolution generated. And the element when revolved about this X, I mean, this Y axis, we generate what? A circular ring. Using circular ring method, so differential volume is equal to pi, the square of the outer radius minus square of the inner radius multiplied by dt dt is equal to dy because this is horizontal. And for the outer radius, so that is um, this right part here, x right happens to be the line. So the, the x right is y, one half y plus two minus this x equals zero, the y axis, so minus zero. So x right minus x left, that is one half y plus two minus zero. For the inner radius, we have x right, that happens to be the pink one, which is the parabola. So y squared over four minus x left is again zero. So y squared over four minus zero, okay? So the volume is given by pi integral from A to B multiplied by outer radius squared minus inner radius squared then dt. So getting pi integral from this original region runs from zero to four. So these are the limits, zero to four. Then outer radius squared, we have one half y plus two quantity squared minus inner radius quantity squared. We have y squared over four, then squared, then multiplied by dy. So simplifying, we have one fourth y squared plus two y plus four, then minus y to the fourth over 16, okay? So integrating, we get y cubed over 12, and this is y squared. This one is four y minus y to the fifth over five times 16, that five, so getting 80. So y to the fifth over 80. So let's evaluate this when, x, when y is four. So when y is four, we get 64 over 12 plus 16, four times four, 16, minus four to the fifth, that is 10, 24 over 80. And then everything is zero at the lower limit. 
So simplify, we get 16 over three, the 64 over 12, then this is plus 32 minus 64 over five, this 10, 24 over 80. Then multiply by, multiply by five. So again, then multiply by pi. Simplifying, we get 368 pi over 15 cubic units. So this is the volume of this solid generated, okay? For letter B, the axis of revolution is the vertical line x equals four. So the plane region to be revolved, same region as what we had before. The only difference that instead of revolving about the y-axis, it is revolved this time about the vertical line x equals four. So the appropriate element here, the more appropriate one is horizontal element happens to be perpendicular to this axis of revolution. And since the region has a gap with the axis of revolution, expect that circular ring or washer will be generated. So for the solid of revolution, so when this region is revolved about this vertical line x equals four, so we generate this solid. Okay, so that's the solid generated. And then along with this uh, solid of revolution, this element will also revolve and it will form a circular ring. For this circular ring, uh, we have the following dimensions. DT is what? DY, outer radius, we have four. So that is mm, this axis of revolution that is x right four minus this um, uh, x of this pink. So the x of this pink is y squared over four. So x right, that is four minus x left, that is the outer radius, that is y squared over four, getting four minus y squared over four. For the inner radius, so it's still four, this is x right minus but this time x left is for the inner radius is the x of the of the line. So the x of the line is one half y plus two. So getting four minus one half y plus two. Simplifying, we get two minus one half. So that is the inner radius. The volume is given by pi integral from a to b of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared quantity multiplied by dt. So substitution of these parts of this um, formula, we have four minus y squared over four quantity squared, that is square of the outer radius minus the square of the inner radius. So we have two minus one half y quantity squared. So let's expand. So this is 16 minus, so twice the product. So negative two y, two y squared, then plus, y to the fourth over 16. For the second binomial, we get when it's squared four, so minus because this is preceded by negative. So, and then negative two y preceded by negative, so positive two y, positive one fourth to y squared, then negative outside, so negative y is squared over four, okay? So simplifying this integrand, getting 16 minus four is 12, then negative two y squared minus y squared over four, that is negative nine y squared over four, and then plus y to the fourth over 16, then plus two y. Integrating, we get 12 y minus y cubed over three times nine over four, so that is three fourths y cubed plus, mm, y to the fifth over five, five times 16, that is 80, and then plus y squared, okay? So evaluated from zero to four. So applying the upper limit, evaluating this expression, getting 48, 12 times four, that's 48, three times um, 64 over four, that is mm, 48, then negative 
4 to the fifth, that is 10, 24 over 80. Then 4 squared, 16. Everything zero when y is zero. So simplifying, we get 144 pi over five cubic units. So that's the volume of this solid form. Okay, guys? What about this region bounded by y squared equals to minus x and y equals x? Axis of revolution, x equals three. So let's start with the points of intersection y squared equals to minus x, and then we have y equals um, x. So solving these two equations simul simultaneously. So let's add getting y squared plus y equals two, so negative x plus x, so zero. Transposing two on the left side, we get y squared plus y minus two equals zero. And then factoring the left side, we get y plus two, y minus one, then equal to zero. So roots negative two, one. When y is negative two, x is negative two also. You can substitute anywhere here in one or in two. When y is one, so we have x is one also, okay? So we have the following points, negative two, negative two and one, one. So these are the points of intersection of this two curves, this parabola and this line. For the parabola y squared equals to minus x, reducing to standard form, we get y squared equals negative of x minus two, getting vertex to zero, and this type of parabola opens to the left. So plane area to be revolved. So this is the plane area to be revolved. So let's plot negative two, negative two. Then we have one, one, and then this two, zero. So the line passes through negative two, negative two, and one, one. What about the parabola? Vertex at two, zero, opening to the left, passing through one, one, and negative two, negative two. And this is the shaded region. The appropriate element here is horizontal. And since the axis of revolution is x equals three. So that is a vertical line. And the region has a gap with this axis of revolution. So expect that the volume element that is generated or that will be formed is a circular ring. Since this is perpendicular to this axis of revolution, okay? So for the solid of revolution, so when this region is revolved about this line, so this is the solid generated. And then along with the element, which is a horizontal one, when revolved about this, it will generate a circular ring. So using circular ring method, so dt is equal to dy, outer radius that is axis of revolution, which is three, then minus up to this point. So the yellow line, so that is mm, x equals y. So x, right, x left is y, x right is three minus x left, x left is y, which is the line. And then for the inner radius, still we have three minus this point, which is on the parabola. So, Parabola, the x of the parabola is two minus y squared. So x right, which is three minus x left, happens to be two minus y squared, getting three minus of this difference, simplifying, getting one plus y squared. So that is the inner radius. So for the volume of the solid, we have this formula. So substitution of this outer radius and inner radius, to this, we get pi integral from negative two to one. So since the original region runs from this x, y value, we look at the y values. So negative two, the lowest value of the region, the highest value is one. So this is the region to be revolved. 
Okay, so the limit's negative two to one. Then, of, and the integrand is three minus y quantity squared minus one plus y squared quantity squared. Then multiply by dy. So simplifying, we have by squaring these two binomials for the first one, nine minus six y plus y squared. For the second one, one plus two y squared plus y to the fourth preceded by negative. So everything will change in sign. So negative one minus two y squared minus y to the fourth. Simplifying further, we get pi integral from negative two to one of this eight minus six y minus y squared minus y to the fourth multiplied by dy. Integrating, getting this eight y minus three y squared plus negative y cube over three plus negative y to the fifth over five. So let's get the value of this expression when y is one, getting eight minus three minus one third minus one fifth. When y is negative two, so minus of this. So that is actually negative 16, three times four. So negative, so negative 12. This is negative eight, negative positive eight over three, negative, negative, so positive 32 over five. So simplifying these first four, four terms, we have 67 over 15. This second group, we have negative 284 over 15. So simplifying, getting 117 pi over five cubic units. So this is the volume of such solid. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something for this discussion. So again, solid subrevolution by circular ring or washer method. Good day, guys.